Hi, I'm Hayden Steves, and this is my speech, informative speech, over plastic water bottle consumption. If I asked you right now, could you tell me where the water in that bottle of Azarka comes from? Well, many of our spring waters are said to come from the actual spring, the majority comes from other places. Following Marco Rubio's Watergate incident a few years ago, Peter Gleick, the president of the Pacific Institute, took to Twitter and asked Nestle just how much Poland spring water is actually in Poland Springs. The answer, about a third. Americans have a growing obsession with bottled water, yet ignore the fact that sometimes bottled water is branded as something it's not. Next slide, please. My purpose is to inform my audience about the obsession with bottled water and to raise awareness of its associated health consequences and relative inadequacy to tap water. The mysterious source of bottled water is just one of the aspects of the topic I will discuss. Bottled water poses several health risks as the plastics can contain BPA and other harmful contaminants. Additionally, Bottled water continues to grow in consumption while our net springs and natural aquifers run dry and oceans can increase in pollution. Next slide, please. Bottled water has more negatives than positives in the manner that it coming from unregulated, unregulated sources poses several health risks and has devastating consequences on nature. Now let's get into it. Water, the basic source of human life, should be treated like such. Close your eyes for a moment. If I offered you a vitamin supplement, you told you only a third of the capsule's contents were confirmed and traced, but the rest is still a supplement of an unconfirmed source, would you take the vitamin? There's no legal requirement for water bottling companies to disclose where their source comes from. According to US News and Rankings, Americans spend $11 billion a year on bottled water, yet do not know the trace, nor know nor trace the origins of its source. ExposingTruth.com states that there is almost no difference between regular tap water and bottled water at all, aside from a false perception that tap water is bad for you. Now let's dive into the health risks of bottled water. Bottled water has been found to have contained several thousand chemicals. According to a study by ExposingTruth.com, endocrine dis disruptors mimic molecules that our cells normally use to signal cell growth and division by providing false information. In one study by PLOS, a team conducted tests on 18 different bottled water brands to look for evidence of endocrine disrupting chemicals. After identifying roughly 4,520 chemicals, the researchers found that 16 of the 18 bottled water brands inhibit the body's antigen receptors by 90%. Aside from just the human impact, bottled water is a horrible envir environmental threat we pose. Bottled water is increasing in consumption numbers and continues to be one of the fastest growing beverages with sales nearly 10% every year. Sales top $12 billion annually, and according to National Geographic, only 60 to 70% of our bottled waters are actually ever recycled. This convenience over environment continues to force us to pollute our land and oceans. The Pacific Garbage Patch off the coast of California is twice the size of Texas and is responsible for the death of several types of aquatic sea life and continues to grow as we throw away more and more plastic bottle, bottles and plastic caps. Now for a recap. Not only are water bottles pointless, by name, but they're also ruining our environment in the name of convenience. We should know that where and what our food is and where it comes from, and water bottles have proven to be nothing more than labeled lies. Nevertheless, they contain so many health risks and can cause several diseases, including cancer. By killing our environment, we are killing ourselves. Hopefully, in the future, we will be able to both hydrate and appreciate our environment and Earth. Thank you for watching my speech. Here's time for the Q&A. Do you have any questions? No, but there's a lot of, like filter, uh, filtered water, like Brita is able, to, you can just buy it and put water in it. It's just the same as drinking filtered uh, bottled water. And better, and tap water has been proven that they treat it with acidity and stuff, so it's healthy to drink even though the taste is unfavorable. But, I mean, it's just, why waste money on these bottled water when you can have tap water streams? Any other questions? Yes. So what are some of the other sources that they fill bottled water? So, like, Dasani is 85% uh, comes from just a city municipal source in the northeast, and then the rest is just the tap water, or it's just from filtered Dasani water, they kind of say. And, like, Ozarka comes, I think 33% is from the Ozark Lake River, and the rest is also from just a municipal source that they just filter, and it's just city water that they extra filter to make it taste better than regular tap water. Yes? I definitely taste the difference in Evian water, so are you saying that's bad as well? Evian water and Fiji water are the only two that are like proven to be 100% from the river that they say they come from. Yeah. So those are waters that you can like easily drink, it's just the water, plastic water bottles, just make sure you're recycling it or drinking out of glass bottles if you can recycle like 100%. Next question. Are, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. No, go. 
Um, are most plastic bottles these days BPA free or not That's necessarily? That's found that most, like they say they are, but they still contain other harmful plastic ingredients. But um, BPA is kind of hit or miss. Like Ozarka doesn't have BPA, but other plastic water bottles you buy from like store brand and stuff do have BPA. So just look at the bottom and it'll say if it has BPA or not. And then, of course, you don't want to re-drink out of the same plastic water bottle, which you do have to drink out of a bottle, because then that breaks up the chemicals inside the bottle more, and that allows them to get more inside the refilled water source. Interesting. <laughs> Anything else? So is glass water bottles okay? Glass like, what about Topo Chico? Topo Chico is just carbonated water. So if you really have to have carbonated water, there's no other way to get it. You can't naturally really carbonated unless you have a soda machine. And Topo Chico is, I mean, if you want to drink Mexican sparkling water, by all means. But it's in a glass, is that okay? As long as you recycle the glass or reuse the glass, yeah. It's better than plastic because you can't get any chemicals from the glass into the water. Is there anything else going to those landfills that you're talking about? Like soda bottles and stuff like that? Yeah, like what about those things that are killing dolphins that are around the cans? That is plastic that contains BPA because it's a can case, but yeah, we can't really- Are you against those too? Of course, like it's that it's killing dolphins, but those are just things you should recycle. I mean, all plastics should be recycled. Do you recycle? Yes. You do? Yes. Thank Where you do for you? your time. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>